Still can't believe, because I watched the highlight reels today, still can't believe the fucking punter ran a, the Titans punter ran a 61-yard fake punt and ran it for a touchdown. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. The like, Titans, was, the Titans he, did a fake punt this weekend? No, it wasn't this weekend. It was like a long time ago. It was like, it was like a real swag back Brett in the day. Brett Kern? It was like back in the, I can't, like I can't. Pro Bowl. No, it was like, it was like number seven. It was like, it was, they're like, we're in the throwback. It was so like, dude, it was, throwback. oh, no, it was the it Oilers was really, and it was a preseason game. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember what, I can't, let me find it. Dude, that was, fucking, let me find it again. And that's why. In the oh, that's Vinny, man. Oh, this game, yeah, this, this yeah, right here, AJ. That's uh, Oilers. Yeah, AJ traps out. Yeah, oh. when, yeah, when he, when he fakes the fucking, the kick and returns it. No way. And that was yeah. preseason. You guys, don't, you, guys don't remember, you guys don't remember that? I've never seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because we weren't yeah, alive. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look I've never seen it, though. That's crazy. And that's why we're excited to have Cam back in the studio, because he brings up random 1980s, 1970s fudge facts. But we are here for NFL week number three picks, locks, and upsets. And I'm happy to announce the, that last year's champion... Cam is in the building. That's me. That's me. Yeah, yeah, I pulled up the video real quick. Let me, let me yeah, show you. Gotta, you gotta play it. You gotta, you gotta play. We're gonna yeah, get demonetized. Yeah, you gotta play it without the audio. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing without the audio. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it's this play right here. Oh my God! It's Jeff Fisher. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No way. It's this play. I, I, I'm, With the I'm, Oilers. I'm 100 percent. It's this play. Yeah. Oh, Jeff Fisher. So that had to have been like a it, 2000, it, it, 2007. It's what, it's what, Colin, it's what Collins went when he's, when he's with number, okay. wearing number and, you four. Know, I have some respect for Jeff watch Fisher. He's one of those coaches out there. Hall of Fame game. Boom, Dude. watch this. Watch this. Boom. Face it. That's solid oh, fake, God. bro. And look at him run. Look he at him run. Him. That's the most Jeff this. Fisher move I've ever heard. Is, calling a fake punt right. in a that. preseason game. Absolutely. Jeff Fisher was the most Remember when Jeff like, Fisher was the yeah. fucking uh, the coach at... Uh, the Rams. The Rams. Yeah. Saint, in St. Saint Louis. Louis. Yep. Yeah. It was. That's why he was. The, that was back when our division was just so, so bad. And all you had to Wild do was go about like 8-8. Eight and eight. That was about the win. Isn't it? It's crazy how like when the Rams first moved to Los Angeles, I thought I was never going to remember to call them the L.A. Rams. But now it seems like so long ago mm-hmm. yeah. that they were even in St. Louis. Barely, mm-hmm. I've never mistaked. I've never said like St. Louis Rams and since yeah. they moved. Yeah. I've always, nope. I've, I've always, always called them. Yeah, I've I feel always like called they them. fit more. I, I feel like they fit yeah. better more there than they do. Couldn't they tell you how many back. times I've said the Redskins though. Oh yeah, <laughs> I say that. I say True, that I say that all the time still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's people today that they say um, I watched in a, an I saw um, Drew Brees accidentally say. Uh, the the Las Vegas Raiders accidentally say their old team no nope. the old yeah. the I Oakland, mean, Raiders. Oakland Raiders when you see yeah. he's like the Oakland Raiders like oh when they corrected him on TV they're like nope you can't say that no more I it's, said the, that Las, the, time it's the Las Vegas Raiders now he's like yeah my bad my bad you know dude I. I bet you they just made Drew Brees feel like such a piece of shit after that, though. They're like, okay, I get you lead the league in passing yards, but you fuck up on national TV, TV, Drew. (laughs) And he was with Tony Dungy, and Dungy kind of just gave him the beans. Did he? I didn't see it. Dungy's kind of a beast. Yeah, he on national TV, he kind of like took over, and Drew Brees was like a little bit combative. It's kind of like it's like okay, it's like offensive versus defensive kind of yeah. Perspective. Yeah, and he was like, the defense was just dominant. <laughs> he like taken over the studio. It's pretty funny. Yeah. I was cracking up. I think Drew Brees fits well on NBC though. Yeah. Oh, no, he right. looks good. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. I don't think he could have went on like CBS or oh, ES- no. or uh, ESPN and fit the same. Like no, I mean, like no. like every no. every sports like pre-show, I feel like everybody fits that. Mold That's perfectly fun. like mm-hmm. Nate Burleson on NFL Network. Oh, he fits that perfect. Freaking I Randy love, Moss on ESPN. I, I kind of like him, but I kind of hate him. That's oh, a little yeah. bit of both. It's like because I watch Good Morning Football, and I don't know. I just get tired of his hot takes and stuff. As long as I don't have to listen to uh, Stephen A. Smith. Oh, That's dude, I fair. love Stephen A. I Smith. Hate him. <laughs> Oh, I hate him. Skip Bayless. Oh, I hate him. Oh, I hate those two folks. Yeah, Bar- mm. speaking of sportscasters, Barn, you have a, a huge hatred for Colin Coward. Oh, dude, he's just a, he's a Browns hater. He says he's not, but he is, and it's just absolutely annoying. Dude, that's just... literally perfectly how you said that. He says he's not, but he's he hates the Browns. Oh, absolutely. 
He goes out of his way to hate Cleveland. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Because it gets him views. Mm-hmm. I mean, it says the dog pounds doesn't like it. No. no. So they got to hear his hot take. <laughs> yeah, when you get a fiery fan base like that, they're gonna they're gonna eat up those videos. Mm-hmm. That but, is very valid. I would do the same thing if I'm being honest. <laughs> Be smart about it. Dude, he so. is. But I hate him. Because I don't think he, I don't think he, I, I think he probably likes him. Because I know he's talked well about Baker. He's had him on multiple interviews before, and they've had a good time before. So I don't think he dislikes the Browns. I just feel like he's just like they're not a good team. So he's just gonna call him out and say he's just gonna call him out. My least favorite thing that he does is he like compares players and compares teams to the most stupid shit. Oh, True. He's, he's like, yeah. let's compare an NFL team to what you would eat at prom. <laughs> it's like it's like what the fuck do you mean, Colin? Yeah, how are you gonna do this one? Anyway? Colin was and I'll leave Crow about this was semi correct at the in the moment about uh Sam Donald. Yeah, dude, that's he a said hard one. it wasn't a he always said that. It's a Jets problem, not a Sam Donald problem. I think you know it's funny, he was he was all over Twitter. Like, during that Panthers-Texans game, which I'm going to eat crow on. I said that was going to be a really good game because I thought the Tyron Taylor curse was going to produce this long necks, long neck quarterback's career, but he turned out to just be another Mike Glennon. But, I, I don't know. Mike Glennon. I don't know, Cole. I'm, I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. I'm say, not ready either. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I still can't say. I'm say, ready, but I'm not ready. I can't wait. I can't say it until he gets two times the wins he has now. I'm not gonna say it until he's MVP of the league. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, Cam, we haven't had you on the on the podcast since this debate, but you are obviously in the crew chat. Uh, what do you stand on the Sam Darnold train? You know, I honestly think he is. Okay, so you, know, you gotta look uh, at all the quarterbacks that I look at. All the quarterbacks that got drafted the same year that he got drafted, and like you know, I I rank him in the same like in, in every category. I would say he's probably in the middle category. He's an average quarterback. I say he. And is that a, is what we're trying to get out of Tree. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, no, I'm not has, afraid. He has to win six games for Tree to call him average for all of mankind. I think, <laughs> but, but, but you are. I honestly think you're right about the. It, I honestly think he was right about it. It isn't. It wasn't a. Uh, it wasn't his problem. It was a Jets problem. Yeah, I mean, because well, I think Zach Darnold, Wilson... It wasn't, it wasn't a Donald problem. Look at it, Zach it's, Wilson. It's he's problem. being bad. I think Zach Wilson... Yeah, but he's been having good. to run. Zach Wilson has been having to run. But, but they and, have the most drops dude, in the league, too. Zach yeah. Wilson yeah. saw the same drops. ghost that Sam Darnold saw against the Patriots, bro. It, it's not the quarterback. It's it's the Jets. Well, it's, you saw the Jets. NFL memes. They posted the thing about Adam Gay. It says, like, the year he left high school... That high school team won state. Yeah. And then after college, I don't know what they won. There's like multiple QBs that he's like. Yeah, afterwards. and then after his first team in the NFL, the Jets, or was it his first? NFL? The first head coaching you know job. First head coaching job. And then after that, you know, Sam Donald is 3 0. Yeah. I don't know. And, I, and he did that without CMC in the second half, too. That's what I'm saying. And All I'm by himself. Still not ready to. Admit Sam Donald is. Average. He is <laughs> an a, he is at least an average quarterback. I haven't seen enough to say he's good, but he is an average quarterback. From what I have seen, even when he was with the Jets, from what I've seen, because he had no one at the Jets and he made the Jets survive a hairless fraction, but he made them survive a little bit. At the moment, average. I'm I'll say it because they're three and zero. Just saying, he is at least an average quarterback. Without CMC, too. Yeah, so and he did without CMC. That is average that is moment, proving yes. a that's proving a point. That's proving a point. That's a big running back right there. Because without him, I don't even think he's turned the ball over yet. Yeah, because without him, Ooh, Sammy. Yeah, yeah. He's had four fumbles. Oh, he's fumbled. He hasn't. He's, he's, I don't he's think he's thrown a pick. I don't think he's thrown a pick though. Yeah, that's weird. He's he's got nine hundred pounds. Yeah, but one of his one of his yeah. fumbles wasn't one of his fumbles though. That's if I remember right, might be a bow. But honestly, I think the only thing that's ever going to save the Jets is if Joe Namath puts on the jersey and brings it back. <laughs> Turns into dust. Yeah, because you know why? That's the only chance they're ever going to have because everybody else sees ghosts and that, that team's just a dumpster fire and it's always going to be. It's sad. No, what they really need to do is get rid of their head coach and their GM. But they need to get rid of everyone in there. They already it's, did. It's going to happen. It's just a... 
to gonna keep rock, doing the wash, same rinse, thing. Repeat. Yeah. They yeah. need to rebuild all that. Get them gone. They don't know how to build a team. <laughs> Quick wash. They need Gary. They need Gary V to buy the team. They, they need someone to buy. They need someone that knows how to run a football team to buy that team and rerun that shit because they ain't getting fixed anytime soon. Dude, the only dude I could really think of because I saw him do it for us. It's like, dude, they really need to like hire like John Dorsey, dude. He built us a roster. I like. I love Kevin Stavansky, but this team that we have is not Kevin Stavansky's team. John Dorsey built the team that we have now. And he's it's just gonna, like... You couldn't play them together. He's a good GM. Yeah. Like, he can build a team. Like, that's someone the Jets should go after for. Like, they need someone who can come in and build a team. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. So, before we get into the point total, we are going to go around and say the team that impressed us the most and the team that... Um, left us with more to desire. First of all, I have two teams that really impressed me. First of all, I'm going to go with Buffalo. Josh Allen, still doing Josh Allen things. Obviously, first came to the league, wasn't a huge fan, but during his playoff run, and all the weapons he has. Let's he's talk great. about it too, though. Like he didn't even use Stephon Diggs. No, I mean he's using Emmanuel all the... Sanders had 100 yards and two touchdowns. Always slept on. And that guy. Cole Beasley, 11 catches for 98 yards. Yeah. So it's just like he's got weapons all over the place. I'm pretty and sure that was a career at high for Cole Beasley also. He loving catches. Yeah. And on top of that, too, you look at those running backs. Like, really, honestly, Zach Moss has improved. And so has Devin Singletary. That team all around on offense is completely better. They're getting better. And another team I want to shout out, too, is the Chargers. I think the Chargers are going to be a team to beat in the AFC. I think the Chiefs need to start worrying. I don't know if that's a bold thing to say or if you guys are going to agree with that, but they do not have a good defense. And teams are starting to build like these good to solid to great offenses. And if this defense can't, you know, not allow 30 points a game, they're going to lose. I mean, you see it during with the, Cleveland, you got the, the Chargers, division. the Raiders. I mean, there's some teams in the AFC that could really – take out the Chiefs this year, and the Chargers, I think, kind of exposed them. And I don't mean to be this guy. They won, but I think a team that kind of just didn't impress me was the Cardinals. And I hate, oh, yeah. and I hate to say Absolutely. that, but Kyler Murray did not look good. They went one for five on third downs. Yeah. And really, the reason, I mean, they came back because the Jags kind of just started shooting themselves in the foot, and Trevor mm-hmm. Lawrence looked like he started seeing ghosts, so... I'm going to go with the Chargers and the Bills for most impressive, Cardinals least impressive. Barnage, who impressed you? Who didn't? I got to say the Bears impressed me. I know they lost, but their defense, holy crap. That defense is for real. It's a really good defense. That offense is... I'm just saying I'm on to a good start with Justin Fields being garbage. (laughs) Yeah, you are. I'm not going to lie. But to be fair, dude, that offense has nothing. They were held to 47 yards against the Browns. And it's, it's just not fair to let a 17-year vet like Jason Peters out there by himself. <laughs> against Miles with Miles Garrett. Garrett. Yeah. It's just not fair. Oh, dude, it, it was bad. Uh, dude, I don't even know a team that, like, disappointed me. Really, I can't. I don't know. You going to go with a pass on that one? Yeah, I might have to. Pretty all-around solid performance around the NFL for Barnage. Larry, who do you got? The team that impressed me? Minnesota. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> because Minnesota, you know, they've been a team that's just been in dog dog games. Oh, the every whole game. Se- every, <laughs> and it's not their fault. Kirk Cousins has played lights out this season. MVP caliber. It's like, I don't yeah, even care. Yeah, like he's, Absolutely. He's, yeah. like a, he's like a top three quarterback <laughs> right now. If you put up the numbers against anybody else, maybe Brady's better than him, but let's Brady. Let's give it. I mean, come on. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, Kirk Cousins is just an animal. Like he, he beat Seattle. That's what they needed. That was a bounce back game. And I think they're going to be running hot soon. So, I like Minnesota. And when you think about it, too, this is kind of their window. Mm hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. And the team that disappointed me is the Cardinals. <laughs> My own fucking team. They were a nightmare. To watch, I was fucking just. It was awful. We were not there, not the, prepared at all. James Robinson ate our ass, just like another. We don't have a good run defense. We have a great pass rush, but what does it do us if we can't fucking stop the run? 
And, I mean, and, and I just want to say, too, just for the Jags fans out there listening, I thought our O line did pretty all right against the Cardinals yeah, pass rush. To absolutely. Be yeah. Yeah. Two sacks, I think, was it? Yeah. yeah. Two sacks, and it was by people that I wouldn't have thought got, would get sacks. Yeah. To and, be honest. He, and honestly, yeah. and. I think Trevor Lawrence had really good pocket presence. Well, yeah, and really and on top of that, it's just the Cardinals were just dog. I mean, Arizona was bad, and on top, of, my head coach is a fucking idiot. I mean, who sends a kicker out there to kick a sixty-eight yard field goal? Unless you're Dustin Tucker. Have you? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, did you see Tucker? He hit sixty-six. Do you think he'll hit from sixty-eight? I don't think so. And the right conditions. No, yeah. I don't think he would. <laughs> In a dome. And so I just <laughs> we're just stupid. We looked bad. I think we're a great pass rush, but we're an awful run game. So we're going to get torn the fuck up week by week, and my secondary is not good enough. So I'll be honest, we're a fluke, and we're going to be exposed because we're in the fucking toughest division in the whole fucking league, and we can't hang, and that's the fucking real of it. Cam, you got anybody that impressed you and let you down? You know, this is going to be a little odd. But I'm actually impressed with the Bengals. They oh, have that's a good. That's good. They have, that's a good one too. They have a, they have a they have a young team. I feel like their weapons are exciting. Yeah, and Joe Burrow with Jamar Chase, five Col- touchdowns. College, college, Already. college uh, dogs, mm-hmm. and now gonna be NFL dogs. I guarantee you. I promise you guys. Actually, they're probably gonna be the next. If Burrow doesn't keep getting hurt, if he stays healthy. He, those two are going to be probably going to be the next deadly deal, duo we're probably going to see. At least the in next good good Cincinnati Carson yeah. Carson Palmer Chad Ochocinco mm-hmm. like those guys like their are, offense is stacked. Yeah, yeah, like they like I am impressed with the Bengals. I really hope the Bengals do good this year. And and they have the weapons and the people. Everybody who gets sl- he, he always gets slept on, but Joe Mixon. Oh, yeah. Back Mixon. running hard he this year. He is a fuss. He's hurt. a beast. He's Second like, in rushing yards. Yeah, yeah. Like that guy. yeah. 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 He's, 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 he just can't get hurt. He's got to stay healthy. If he can stay, if the Bengals can stay healthy, they are a team to worry about. They are looking good. Yes, it is only a couple of weeks into the season, but still, they are a young team and they are playing well together. And they're hanging in there. They're hanging in together. So I, I, that's just me. That's just me personally. Who let you down? The team that has let me down are my dogs, yeah. the Patriots. I am not impressed. I, I'm kind of impressed, but no. Like, Bill Belichick needs to grow the fuck up. Yeah, he honestly really does. Like, I can, I can, I, I saw a little video about when they said like, um, when they were Bill treated Tom Brady like he was a tw- like, like he was like a little kid bossed him around, and I was like, and he was a forty year old kid. I'm like, I'm thinking about that. He probably like, treated him like rookie mode the whole I'm time. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, that I'm thinking about that. I'm like, dude, like, yeah, Mac Jones is a rookie, but there's other players on the offense. I feel like that you are just controlling that you need to let them go like our offense our receivers no separation at all we need to get them gone like yeah they're not bad but like come on they, they didn't get no separation at all i'm not happy with it yeah that simple. i think my dad would agree with you Colch, who do you got uh the chargers really impressed me this week um like you said if you don't have a top offense you can't win you know, the top games. You, you have to have an elite offense and defense. It used to be, like, if you have elite de- defense wins you games. Yeah. And I think somebody's getting slept on, Mike Williams. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Come back from injury, just playing great this year so and, far. Uh, the L.A. Chargers, they're looking really good to me. Just like Cam said, fucking their team, they're a good team. And the Eagles let me down this oh, week. Dude. I like Jalen Hurts. Not so much after this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there for like half an inning. Or an inning? inning? What the fuck? You, you don't even watch baseball. I know. Yeah. I know. For half a quarter, he was looking solid. Yeah. <laughs> half a inning. No. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. He was looking solid. I think they should start Joe Flacco. Gardner and, Minshew. And then... I'd rather have Flacco in. You're so fucking but after high. That, I'd rather have Flacco. You're high. I don't Flacco's a game Flacco. manager and I don't don't have have a Flacco. better game manager. I don't think he's a turnover machine. He is a turnover machine. He, he but has Flacco okay, no, you want to hear this? Super Bowl. You want to hear this? Yeah. You want to hear this? Because I've seen this. Like the fact that you said that actually got me a little wild up. Because the fact that you said that pisses me off so bad. Because I've seen a graphic today 
that Gardner Minshew in his entire career with the Jacksonville Jaguars had six interceptions. Wow. Trevor Lawrence has seven right now. That's savage. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah but Trevor Lawrence is looking like the worst rookie ever. No, he's not. Okay, let me tell you why There's that's. There's. An Zach Wilson. Zach him, Wilson. Zach him, Wilson. No, him and Zach Wilson are looking like shit. They're Zach Wilson. Arguments. Zach no. Wilson has Both. thrown two touchdowns, and I like Trevor Lawrence, but you got to look at the Jacksonville Jaguars as a whole picture. You got to look at the, the Jets as a <laughs> whole Jets? picture too. Then yeah, the well, fuck? no, I am looking at the Jets as a whole picture. They're both shitty no, teams. <laughs> They're both shitty. I'm looking teams. at the final score <laughs> of all the games. Say it. The, Say it, Bryce. The Jags have Say not it. got goose egg. Do it. Trevor Lawrence. Has had crucial drops. There's been, out of like the seven interceptions he's thrown, there's been three tipped interceptions. I'll be honest with you. I think you guys should have not have drafted Trevor Lawrence. Who are we going to draft at number one? I think you go anywhere else or trade out. No. Because to be you. honest, <laughs> let's be real. Gardner's did way better than this guy. And this is offense is worse than last year. This offense is worse than last year. But the Gardner problem is... The, yeah, the problem isn't with Trevor Lawrence. Because Trevor Lawrence, if you look at the film at a deeper breakdown, week, he's going through his progressions and yeah, finding but, open targets. But, so, I mean, it's Urban Meyer, Meyer hurting him, though, too, because, like... The coaching, I, yeah, I won't defend. Because, like, the flea flicker? Yeah, that I won't defend. That was the nail in our coffin. Mm-hmm. That I won't defend, because there was nothing... And, to be honest, your coaching... Your coach kind of failed you because your run game was just tearing us the fuck out. And we went away from it. You and we're like, having him throw the ball... Yeah. 50, 60 times a game. Yeah, we're, same thing we're having. That's how we're, uh, that's what we're doing with Mac, too. Yeah, that's what we're doing with Big Ben. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're, we're, putting, we're putting too I'm much... Here, like, gotta, Baker's only throwing 20 times a game. We're putting too much <laughs> into Trevor Lawrence is the problem. And he's got a peck injury, yeah, which he shouldn't even be throwing. <laughs> that much, to be honest. He two TDs, two interceptions on the year. First round yeah, rookie running back. Round, yeah. Yeah. Might as well use it. But yeah, the Eagles disappointed me. But yeah. Old We'll, we'll end it at that. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a good debate. Haven't had one of those in a while. All right, now it is time for my favorite week, your favorite time of the week, and your mom's favorite time of the week. The point reveal. Last week we had a historic high, and we had a tie at top of the leaderboard. Colge, you're one of those people at the top. You had 20 points last week. Yes, I did. How many points do you have? Well. Total, I had 20. I didn't score 20. So last week, I got my lock correct, and I got my lock, or my upset, incorrect. But I still scored 11. For Fitz. 11 for Fitz. Fitz. If you're not scoring for Breeze, you score for Fitz. That's right. (laughs) And I'm sitting at 31 magnificent points. 31 points. I can't even think of anybody who's number 31, so I can't. David Johnson. Oh, well, there you go. Off the dome. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. And Barnage, you were tied for that top spot at 20 points. Okay. So I got my lock right with the Cardinals <clears throat> because we start frame block. But my upset, I am pissed off about. I chose <laughs> the Lions over the Ravens, and that should be a Lions dub. The Ravens got a delay of game. The Facts. refs never called it. That pushes it back five yards. There's no way he hits from 71. There's no way he hits from 71. He deemed it off the, the, the crossbar. There's Colts. no way he makes it from 71 and Lions win that. I am upset. But I got 12 points Ooh. above Colds now at 32. 32? Um, I, I do just want to say... I would be at 32 as well, but the controversy. Yeah, so the controversy regarding the upsets, because... Because last week, I couldn't pick Washington over, who was it? Buffalo. The, the Buffalo yep. as an upset, because we, we, deemed it, it. we deemed it unfittable, correct? Yeah. So yeah. I had to choose something after that game that I had already written down... So, but I will take that L. So for this week, no, we're going off a record. Next week. No, I said but this week. Okay. Yeah, let me finish, Colt. Jesus. (laughs) He's heated, everyone. He is heated. I I, I don't know. So for this week, we're going to remain 
on going off of records. But for next week and for the rest of the season, we're going off of Vegas odds. Because that is what we deemed the most fair. And now we're going to talk to Larry, who had a historic high last week. You feeling lucky again, Larry? Well, boys, we followed up with another historic high. No. I got 15 points. Run it back. Yeah, it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, let's hear it. Let's, let's yell. Check okay, yeah, let's I got the Panthers over the Texans. The Chiefs I missed over the Chargers. The Cardinals we star frame locked. I got the Browns over the Bears. I got the Bills over Washington. I got the Titans over the Colts. The Patriots I missed over the Saints. But I got the Falcons. I got the Bengals. I got the Ravens. I got the Broncos. I got the Raiders. I got the Rams. And then I hit my upset of the week with the Vikings. And then I got the Packers on Sunday night. And then I got the Cowboys on Monday night. I was also... Very happy about the Rams win. Yeah, yeah. I knew they were going to... They're just well coached. Yeah. And and Brady always loses some regular season game to somebody. And that's the team that's the, they're going to lose. Maybe to. I should have picked them for my best game of the week. but. And so I freaking got 15 points. And now I'm at 32. For Maurice Jones. Wow. Wow. Time. Again. Wow! And there's now Golden again. is in third. The fall Second. from grace. Because they're tied. Right. They're tied for first. Yeah, so that, yeah, so they're they're the, third, yes. Therefore, that yes, puts yeah. you in third. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All, All right. Well, we don't know what Trude got yet. Well, as of right it's now, true. you are in third. Yeah, so that. All right. So, <laughs> all these boys are hitting. We know he's going to be last. These historic highs. <laughs> it's going to be historic I, low. I have... Just been playing extra conservative. <laughs> I haven't knocked anybody's socks off. And I haven't necessarily gone above and beyond. But I did get 11 for fits. For fits. So, yeah. and, and something else that's cool is, I don't know if this has ever happened before. You know, we, we haven't really started keeping stats until this season. But we hit all of our star frames. All of them. Every single one. Every one yeah. of them for this week. Yeah. yeah, that's I saying, awesome. I was saying before we did this, um, and I have I 20, said, 25 total points. Yeah, I said yeah. nobody had less than six because we got at least eight star frames. Or actually, no, I said we said above eight because we all yeah. locked the star frame. And yeah. we currently have going into this week twenty three star frames. Twenty three star frames. Yep. And Cam, I know I got your picks from last week. Did you happen to fill out week two and know if you have a point total? No, I did not. You did not fill out week two. I did not. The, spe- I, the special guest host has I been. Not. I kind of forgot about that oh, one. Oh, no. Oopsie. We'll just say I got to 20. We'll just say. Yeah, we'll just say. We'll just say. We'll just say. We'll just say you got 16. We'll just say I got 9. So we'll the 20. Yeah, just yeah, because you know if you're not doing it for Larry Fitz, you do it for Drew yeah, Brees. So I got, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So I'm at 20 now. Absolutely. Because we'll he's doing great as a commentary yeah. guy. We like yeah. him. We'll put me at 20. And hey, I'm still the champ from last year. You can't forget, boys. <laughs> yeah, he's still the champ, champ. He's got the belt. The comeback is real. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to the picks. We're in week four, and it's going by so fast. Like Almost that. too fast. Just too quick. Too quick for my liking. And we're going to get the tragedy out of the way. we got the Jacksonville Jaguars going up against the Cincinnati Bengals on Thursday night. Before the schedule even came, well, before the official schedule came out and I saw that we were playing the Bengals this year and I knew we had Trevor Lawrence, I was like, we're going to have one primetime game. It's automatically going to be a Thursday night and this is going to be the one because they're going to fucking Joe Burrow versus Trevor Lawrence. You know, that's what they're going to do. And Clemson versus LSU. Yeah, they were, and that's what they did. So we have the Jags and the Bengals, and the thing is, the Jags suck in general, and they suck on national television. So, and the defense can't kept, keep up with all the Bengals' weapons. I hope the offense can kind of keep up so the score is decent, high-scoring game maybe, good Thursday night game, but I'm going to take the Bengals. Cole, who do you got? Um, I'm going to choose the Bengals as my lock. Bengals 
they really impressed me last week. You know, they they exposed Pittsburgh. And I'll just say it now. You guys are number four in the division. That's yeah, and we might, we're probably going to stay that way. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie, Big Ben's not good, but that it's not about the Steelers right now. It's about the Bengals. Uh, I'm going to choose the Bengals as my lock, and I might choose whoever Jacksonville is playing as my lock every single game this year. That might be a good strategy. As Barnage. There's, Barnage there's, I talked about this yeah. way there's, earlier. but There's another team, too, that I think has another like good bet on picking locks against, but... Well, the well, Jets. No, no, there's a there's another even. Oh, a third one. Yeah, there's a third one, too, that I think has a good bet, but... Cam, who do you got? You know, I'm going to have to go with the Bengals on this one. Uh, like I said earlier, I, uh, I was impressed with the Bengals, and I, I honestly don't think the Jaguars are going to be able to keep up with them. I don't think they are. I think it's going to be like a 35-21. Yeah. And if it's that score, honestly, I come away happy. Because that's a two-possession game. I mean, we we hung in there. Three touchdowns. Hopefully Trevor passed all three of those. Larry, who do you got? Uh, I'm taking the Bengals. There's too many weapons there. I think Joe Mixon's going to have 150 yards. and I think Our run defense is actually one of our strong suits. Well, it's going to fall apart on Thursday night because I think Joe Mixon's going for 150 yards and two touchdowns. And Joe Mix and Joe Burrow, I don't know. I think he might pop off, throw a couple TDs. He's for sure going to throw at least two. At least two or three TDs. And Joe Mixon's yeah. for sure going to have a rush. In. So who's like the third option for Cincinnati? Receiving. For receiving, there's yeah, Tyler Boyd. Boyd. Jamar Chase. Oh, Tyler Boyd is T. going. Higgins. We always make Jamar some. Chase. We always make Jamar some Chase. obscure name have mm-hmm. like a career day. But Tyler been, Boyd is going to have 140 yards. Yeah. Like, you remember that Christian Kirk touchdown? Yeah. I called that shit before it even happened. True. You're like, it literally happened. I was yeah. like, yeah. That's like a crew Hall of Fame name. That's not like... <laughs> well, but the jet for the Jags in that moment? Yeah. I was like, dude, we're going to... Because, like, they have A.J. Green, DeAndre Hopkins. A.J. went off, too. Oh, yeah. Which is a surprise. Well, that's because he's fucking... Old. He hates the Jags. Oh, does he? Well, you remember when Jalen Ramsey and him got Oh, yeah, that? that's probably true. Yeah, yeah. That, but that was one of those scuffles that wasn't that memorable. Oh, I don't compared, remember. Well, compared to other ones, you know. That whole year we got into some scuffles. Yeah, well, because you guys were just dogs, <laughs> you know. You guys were a bunch of yappers. Yeah, we talked shit. Barn, yeah. who do you got? I'm also going to lock the Bengals because I don't know if I could ever lock the Bengals against another team again because they're in my division and I don't care for the Bengals that much. Brilliant. And the Jags are... Bengals are just going to... I think they're going to dominate the Jags. They got too much offensive power. And they're young. And, yeah, that's... All right. Well, for the fourth Thursday night game in a row... We have a Star Frame five dollars charity of your choice. Thursday night games have been. I like how I still don't say Star Frame. Yeah, it's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> don't pitch into any of the fun. We got the Tennessee Titans going up against the New York Jets, and you know, I don't think there's really much that needs to be. <laughs> 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 well, are you sure, guys? To, Come to be, on, now. To be said with this one. Can we uh, just say Star Frame already? And, 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 you know, uh, Cole just said this. Uh, and this isn't the team I was referring to earlier, but unironically, I am going to lock the Titans over the Jets. But, uh, Cole, who do you got? I got the Titans. This would be a good lock, but I, I don't really want to go too much into it. All right, Cam, who do you got? Titans. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, we. What do you got? Well, I'm taking the Titans. DH is going to have 200 yards. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the Titans. That's it. There's just Titans. Bold prediction, run. DH breaks the single game rushing record. That'd be a fucking nuts. I hate myself. How many yards well, is that? Two, thir- two, two, it's going to be up in the I think it's 220. Because I know it's in Madden. I've seen it's it It's going to be like 250. Time. I think it's like 258. Yeah, something like Walter Payton probably has it. I think it's Somebody. Barry. I think it is Burry. It's either Barry or AP. Yeah. Or LT. It's AP. It's AP. It's AP. It's got I'm not going to lie. I thought it was like 315, but... No, no. that's way too high. It's receiving yards. But at the same that time... That was Bryce and Matt. But at the yeah. same time... <laughs> that's me. No. So, it's me but Jake. I know the Titans are going to win. I know the Titans are going to win. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not dumb about this. But Julio Jones and A.J. Brown, as of a couple... 
They are questionable. This uh, is why DH are... is breaking the rushing record. Yeah, they are he's getting 50 so carries. That's their number one. Yeah. That's their number one and their number two <laughs> receiver potentially not playing. Yeah, so. and then here you go. Here's the ball. Well, and you know what's funny too is like in the Titans game last week, they had two obscure ass names get the receiving touchdown yeah. too. So it was like Michael Pruitt and like something Westbrook, I yeah. think, or something like that. It, well, am I, is it Didi? It wasn't Didi. Didi plays for the Vikings. Oh, okay. yeah, Didi plays for the Vikings. I got a fact check. Yeah. Uh, Adrian Peterson has the most rushing yards in one game for 296 yards. Oh. 296. That was close, though. Yeah, you Thank were, you, Jamie. You were way closer than <laughs> <now. laughs> I was. That's what I was saying. I knew November 4th, 2007. Thank you, Cold Draft Report. <laughs> yeah, Cold Draft Report. Cold Report. Where are we on? We on? We on? Uh, Bar- yeah, Bar- yeah Bar- Who do you got? Uh, the Titans easily because the Jets are a college team. I said that last week. I'm going to continue to say it. I think they're... They get fucking smacked by all the college teams, I think. Oh. Oh. The nation? Yeah. Idaho would give them a fucking I think, runner. I don't think any of them, but that's a different podcast. Yeah. That's a different podcast <laughs> for a different day. All right, that's going to bring up the second straight. Star Frame! Five dollar charity of your choice! <laughs> so we, and we had 23 coming in, right? Yep. Yeah, so we had 25. Coming up next, we got a NFC North matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Chicago Bears. And I think the Lions fans are going to finally breathe a sigh of relief and get a victory here over Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears. And bold take, don't even think it's going to be close. I, think, I don't think it is either. <laughs> I, think, I think Detroit is going to run away with this one. Larry, since I think we're on the same board after that, who do you have? We are on the same wavelength, Tree. Uh, the Lions are going to smack them. This team actually looks good. I, and I, I've, I've went to bat for the Lions. I think they're a playoff team. They've played playoff teams. They've fought against a lot of people. They're making stupid mistakes because of Dan Campbell. But I love this team. And I, the Bears suck. I mean, point blank period. I don't care if it's Andy Dalton. I don't care if it's Nick Foles. I don't care if it's Justin Fields. It's over. Your season's done. And uh, you know you know what's funny? It. You talked about Joe Flacco being like the ultimate game manager, and I know I've thro- I've flip flopped on his name a lot, but Jared Goff. He is so he's good with what he has. It's the ultimate game manager. And and I honestly do believe like really he has turned the corner. Like he got traded from the Rams. A lot of people could just be really upset about it, but I think he's like, I'm all about it. I'm the Lions guy, and I'm going to figure this shit out. And I think he's done well with TJ Hawkinson. And, oh, and, Hawk, yeah. Yeah, he's had a money season, and I think they're just all doing really good. Cole, what do you got? I like the Bears on this one, actually. Um, I think Jared Goff, he'll, he's going to throw four picks and get four. benched. He's going to get benched uh, late third quarter. I don't even know who their backup is. Don't I either. think it's... Uh, I don't either. God. It's a it's a it's an old school name I think. It's oh, fucking. Uh, something whack like Jeff Driscoll or something like that. That, uh, that sounds close. A, it's, that was I think a backup last year. I think it's Chase Daniel. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he could. The yeah, old yeah. that makes sense uh, okay. actually. Yeah, yeah. Cole, drop it for you. Can you check that for us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, I will. Thank you. <laughs> Cam, Cam, who do you got? You know. I'm going to have to go with the Lions. They're starting Justin Fields. The Bears are starting Fields, and I'm not too comfortable with him yet. Like He, he threw what? Eight, less than 47 six, yards. 47 yards. Six for 20. He, throw, he threw one yard. Just oh, like, my God. Yeah, and like he ran the rest. Yeah, they, had, they had 46 rushing yards. Yeah, and it's just Ooh. like, yeah, it's just like I'm not impressed with him. Maybe it's just what, maybe their game plan and how they're using him. Maybe that's how it, maybe that's it, but I'm, I'm, no. And I ha- I'm going to have to go with the Lions if they are playing Justin Fields. And Detroit did a good job neutralizing Lamar, too, in that yeah, game. Yeah, they did. They shouldn't have lost that game, point no. blank period. That delayed game happens, that game's not the way it is. And they win. Yeah. And you got an update on that backup quarterback? It's nobody that anybody, at least I don't know. It's a David Blog. Oh, oh, I do. Yes, David dude, he's, a, he's a, he, dude, he, he, he was on the Browns roster for a while, and Blow. he was killing it in preseason, <laughs> killing it. And then we traded him to the Lions. Yeah, Blau or Blow. It's a B L O U G H. Yeah, Blau. 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 
David Blau. Excuse me for saying that wrong. He's a, he's. I, I wish he would start. Honestly, that'd be cool. He's gonna. He'd be good. Barnhouse, who do you got in this one? Uh, I got the Lions. I think the Lions should have won last week. And especially if they were one last week, they would have been coming into this game even extra hot. And I think they're going to cream the Bears. Like, I don't think the Bears even have a chance against playoff teams. And the Lions have put up fights against playoff teams this whole season. And it's just, I think the Bears have no chance. I think the Lions could be a potentially a wild card team. I do too. What, seven teams in it? Yeah. Yeah. I think they got a chance. Coming up next, we got the Indianapolis Colts going up against the Miami Dolphins. You know, this bit me last week. It's probably going to bite me again, but I'm going to take the Colts. I don't know why I keep picking up against Miami. It's probably because Jacoby Brissett and Tua, both for me, don't do it for me. It's probably because, like, <clears throat> Jacoby Brissett loses to the Jags. And if you lose to the Jags on a regular basis, I think we have a winning record against Jacoby Brissett. And it's like, you're not going to pique my interest. Unless it's a Jacoby Brissett revenge game against the Colts. I don't know. But I'm going to take Carson Wentz and the Colts. Colts, who you got? I don't think it's a revenge game necessarily. I think it's just a regular game for Jacoby. But I like the Dolphins... Who do the Colts have? Like any Zach Pascal. Some of my fantasy team. Like Pittman. And T.Y. Holmes. Naeem Hines. Yeah, but better than T.Y. Homeboy. I mean, Jonathan Taylor. It's better than him, I think. Yeah. Jonathan Taylor is not bad. And T.Y. He's He'll have 69. T.Y. is going to have some back surgery and be back. Uh, yeah, the running back will have 69 yards rushing, zero touchdowns. <laughs> nice. Uh, there you go. I like, I like Jacoby Brissett. I think it'll be just an average game. It won't be a bad game average. It'll this be is, like 21 to 17. This is the game Andrew Catalan and James Lofton will be at, calling that. Because they always call the games that suck, or that are like very average in the morning. <laughs> call a lot of Jags games. Cam, who do you got? I'm going to have to go with the Colts on this one. Um, I don't have too much faith in the Dolphins at all. Like, I don't believe in them. I was kind of a big fan of their defense when that kind of collapsed, too. Larry, who do you got? Uh, I'm taking the Dolphins. Ooh. I still think the Dolphins have a good defense. Uh, Brissett's a game manager. I don't like any of the Colts quarterbacks. I don't care who's in. I think they're just bad. Uh, the Colts are not anyone. I don't know who's even going to win that division. It's just for me a Titans runaway, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So, Absolutely. You know, I'm just going to go with the Dolphins. All right, Barn, we got a 2-2 split here. You're the one to break the tie. Who do you got? I'm going the Dolphins. Uh, they should have won a tie. <laughs> Jacoby yeah. Brissett. Yeah. <laughs> Jacoby Brissett, he almost beat Derek Carr and the Raiders. That is kind of crazy because Derek Carr and the Raiders have been playing kind of lights out this season so far. And I don't think the Colts compare to the Raiders right now. And I think Jacoby Brissett coming back against the Colts is a revenge game, and he will light up. That was a pretty good promo there. Coming up next, we got the Cleveland Browns going up against the Minnesota Vikings. And I'm going to take the Vikings in this one. This is going to be an absolute shootout. Lots of points scored, but I think Kirk Cousins gets the job done. I've had a lot of faith in Kirk Cousins since the beginning. Cole, what do you got? I have as well, Treeb. I, I like him, and we'll be saying he's in the MVP top, or top, you know, whatever. But he seriously until is. week <laughs> Until week nine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> about week nine, we'll stop saying yeah. that. But right now, he's going to play lights out. You know, my brother's going to be at this game. Oh, I bet fuck. I don't think YouTube knows I have a brother. He lives in Minnesota. He's yeah. going to be at that game. So, uh, that's really the only reason I'm going to take the Vikings. You know I like the Vikings, Barnage. I'm just, don't give me the stink. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Cam, what do you got? 
You know, I'm going to have to go with the Browns on this one. Yeah, the Vikings are looking like dogs, and Kirk Cousins is playing lights out, but I don't think they're going to be able to stop Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is a great running back. Larry? I'm taking the Vikings. I, I like Kirk Cousins. I like what he's doing. Every week he's been in them. It's the kicker's fault yeah. for losing against us. Uh, I think the Vikings are just really good. I think the Browns are really good, too. I just think it's going to be a shootout. And to be honest, I don't know why. I just think the Vikings' defense is going to perform in their own stadium. And Kirk Cousins <coughs> gets the job done. Barney, what do you got? I'm going to the Browns. <laughs> yeah! yeah. What a top. <laughs> I'm choosing the Browns because the Browns' defense played lights out last weekend, and I think it shows that our defense is finally coming together as one. And I don't expect Miles Garrett to have another 4.5 sack week. I don't expect that. I mean, he'll probably get one, maybe two, which would be nice. But I think our defense is finally coming together. We're giving our, some of our rookies more starting time this week, and they played lights out compared to our other starters that we're in. And, like, I'm super excited about JOK. I think he can come in starting for the rest of the season and be the defensive rookie of the year. And I think JOK picks off Kirk Cousins this week and takes it to the house. That would not be good for my fantasy team. I literally added him in the final league. I didn't have him as my starting quarterback. And I'm rolling with Kirk in all five leagues. No way. Yep. That's awesome. He's a top five fantasy quarterback right now. Man. Well, I love it, though. You're yeah. just rolling with him. Yeah. That's cool. It's been my guy. Week nine. Yeah, week nine, I'm going to have to find somebody else. I'm going to have to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come playoff time. <laughs> i gotta, I got to figure out who it is. Coming up next, we got another matchup I think that could go kind of either way. We got Washington. We got Atlanta. And just because Atlanta's so unpredictable... And they got to win five, six, seven games. I think it comes down to one of these games. I'm picking Atlanta for just that simple reason. Atlanta's not going to win. Atlanta's not going to only win one or two games. And their division's already as tough as it is. So it's got to it's gotta come somewhere. I think it comes here. Cole, who do you got? Um, just for the simple reason, I haven't, been, I haven't picked an Atlanta game wrong. <laughs> you have to point that year? out every week, yeah. Uh, last year, I'll say I'll say this every single week. I don't care. Last week I didn't pick one right. This this week this year I've been picking them all right. I like the Falcons in this one. Taylor Henneke, and I thought his name was Tyler. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. don't know why, but Taylor Henneke is gonna throw two picks. He's exciting to watch for two hundred and forty nine <laughs> yards. He's gonna do okay. Do average. Mm-hmm. It's going to come down to a young ho kick. Dude, young ho? He's kind of a baller. He's still always been good. Except his very first season. Yeah. Where was but, he at? Yeah, the Chargers, rookie. right? Chargers, yeah. When he's he, a rookie. Uh, yeah. Give the man a break. Rookie season. Missed that I can't game believe Josh Lambeau is still on Marvel. Christmas. Mm-hmm. Right. Again. He hasn't made Browns. a field goal all year. On yeah. Christmas Eve. <laughs> Christmas Eve, yeah. He's missing some yeah, extra Christmas. points, too. Yeah. Cam, who do you got? I'm going to have to go with Washington on this one, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I can see it. Um, you know, I, I'm really, I, 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 just, I really like Terry Scary. And Chase Young, he's a fucking dog. Yeah. So, um, and Taylor Heineke, you know, I, I like him too. He's really good. And the Falcons, they just don't have really anyone that really sticks out to me that's really going to, you know. I'm hoping Kyle Pitts does something because I traded for him. And then James Robinson has his best fucking week. And then fucking Kyle Pitts gets nothing. I still won, but fuck. I love that. Fucking traded his ass. Larry, who do you got? Well, I'm taking the football team because I think Washington's... I like Taylor Heineke. I don't know. I think he struggled last week, but it's the Bills. The Bills are a legit team. He's still trying to figure it out as a starter, so... I like Scary Terry. I like Logan Thomas. I think Logan Thomas gets his first 100-yard game of the season. And I think they just win by a lot because I think the Falcons always do this. They go hot one game and then cold the next. 
They were really hot against. Well, the they Giants. still won. Yeah. You know, hot enough to beat a crap Giants, but they're still going to be ice cold for against the Washington. Maddie Ice, what can you say? Yeah. Barney think Atlanta can string two in a row? No. no. I think Washington takes this. Atlanta struggled against the Giants, and Washington's defense is way better than the Giants' defense, I think. And Washington's offense is better than the Giants' offense. And I just don't think the Falcons can handle it. Their defense isn't looking good at all. Their offense is looking shaky every week. I'm taking Washington. All right. You know, we haven't had a star frame in a while, but I think this game right here might change it. Unless one of y'all want to get bold. We got the Buffalo Bills and the Houston Texans. I got the Bills by a mile. Cole, what do you got? Yeah, I got the Bills by a lot. First first week of the season, I said Josh Allen got lucky last year. I said that. I'll eat crow on it. Uh, Legit. That's all I got to say. I'll eat crow all day about Josh Allen. He's going to throw probably five touchdowns. I could see it. Five touchdowns, <clears throat> 500 and... 49 yards. That would be nuts. One, f- one fumble, though. I can see that, too. Okay, what do you got? I'm going to have to go with the Bills on this one. You know, if Deshaun Watson is not playing, they do not. the Texans do not have a chance. Nope. He'll never play an NFL game ever again. Probably not. I don't think so, either. No. I'm taking the Bills by 50. <laughs> yeah. I think Stephon Diggs bounces back. I think he gets a hat trick. I... I like this offense. Texans are dog shit. <laughs> and Barn, cap us off. Uh, the Bills. Uh, Texans are garbage. I don't really need to say more. <laughs> I think everyone said everything. They're yeah. just going to get destroyed. Until they find a quarterback like Deshaun Watson again that doesn't do the special favors, you know, with a 33 <laughs> table. And, you know, who, you know, who knows? They might be good again, but nope. Not for now. Not for now. And that's going to bring us another Star Friend $5 charity of your choice for the Bills Mafia. All right. Coming up next, we got the Giants going up against the Saints. This game tempts me a little bit because I think the Giants, even though they're garbage on paper, Right? I think... On paper. Overall. Everywhere. Dude, they're, they're hanging in there, though. What do you mean? Dude, they're, they're playing shit teams. But they're hanging in there. The Saints, though, are one of those teams right now that are playing good and then playing bad and playing good. Yeah, you have no belief in your boy Jameis Winston. Uh, That's what it sounds but like now, But now, and right now I'm trying to make up points because I need to get into this into this fucking race here. And, you know, I haven't used my upset yet. And I mean, it's a battle between two teams for me right now. So, I'm going to take the Saints. I'm going to say Jameis Winston gets the job done. Danny Nichols chokes. Cold Judy got. I hate Danny Nichols. <laughs> I hate him. He's probably... A- a QB that I hate more than Jameis Winston. I hate Jameis Winston. But... I don't even think you know who Danny Nichols is. <laughs> it's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the Saints in this one. Uh, Taysom Hill. He's going to have two rushing touchdowns. Has he, has he played at all this year? Yeah. yeah. Has, has he? Played? He had a rushing he touchdown, touchdown last week. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's why I said that. I had no clue. I, I didn't love me some days from Hill. He clutched me out. The Idaho Nichols. native. Danny Nichols. Throw two picks. Continues his turnover streak. 159 yards. <laughs> That's so accurate. Cam, who do you got? I'm going to have to go with the Saints on this one. I think Jameis Winston's going to th- gonna throw it. Three touchdowns. Kamara is going to get two rushing. So that's what I got to say. I feel like it's going to be a pretty good game. With the Saints, they got a pretty good defense. And you know the Giants? They, they've been playing some pretty shitty teams. And they're still mm-hmm. losing. Yeah, so. Going Larry? Saints. 
Yeah. I think this is going to be the most turnovers in an NFL football game ever. <laughs> We're going to have the rushing yards get broke and the turnover record get broken one week. Yep. Historic week four. And I think it's going to be. The mo- I think there's going to be five picks from Jameis, and I think there's going to be like four fumbles and like three picks from Danny Nichols. So, uh, you know, final score three to zero. I think, you know, I think this game is going to be one nine to six. And you know who I think is going to win her? Who? I think it's going to be Graham Gano for the Giants. <clears throat> oh wow! Yeah, I'm oh, taking didn't. the Giants. Oh, only for the field goals in this game of the week. Oh, the o- only field goals, or is there going to be a touchdown? Only Phillies. I like that. I like it only, for the brand. Only Jay Phillies. Barn, who you got? I'm taking the Saints. I don't like the Giants at all. I think the roster completely all around is garbage. Danny Nichols is terrible. Uh, I think, Dan, I think Danny Nichols is definitely going to throw at least two, three interceptions guaranteed. Just for no reason. Because, like, I don't know why. And I think, like, James Winston will also throw one or two just to throw them out there. But James Winston, he'll, he'll throw, like, five TDs and two interceptions. It's going to be dumb. Mad. So, every time I play Madden. This... <clears throat> even though I thought about talk, taking them from the upset, even though I'm back asswards, this was the team I was talking about that has not a single winnable game in their future. Because even their non-division games are tough. Because they have Oakland, um, they have the Vikings, they have Washington, and they have Seattle. So, hey, they do not have a lot of winnable games on their yeah. schedule. And honestly, I think if the Saints beat the Giants, Danny Nichols should be demoted to Danny Pennies. I think it's so fair. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And until he until he wins again, he can't even go up to Danny Nichols. And he can't go back to Danny Dimes until he wins ten games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'll, give, I'll give him four. Yeah. I think it, and I think if he keeps progressing in the wrong way, we might have to call him Danny Euros. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Just completely get shit, out of the, the country. Fucking deport him yeah. <laughs> out of the country. The Euros are worth more than the American dollar. Oh, well, yeah. oh are they? Absolutely. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> know that. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's definitely not worth the dollar. Good, good. Danny third world country. <laughs> Danny Wong. <laughs> she. Dan- oh, we hate Daniel Jones. Yeah. I hope he, I hope we'll he- figure it out next week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Coming up next, we have the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Chiefs need to rebound. I think this is the game they do it. Um, but I still think it's going to be one of those games that's like absolutely close for no reason. 31-38 final score. Chiefs win. Cole, who do you got? Yeah, the Chiefs, they're going to spank the Eagles. I was disappointed in Mr. Hurts last week. The Chiefs might actually drop a 50 bird. I'm, I'm thinking no. 51 nah. to... You're, you're acting like a child. 23. 23? Cam, what do you got? Uh, I, 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 don't, I think the Chiefs are going to win, but not by that much. I think it's going to be like a low-scoring game, like 28-21. I think the, the Cowboys kind of put it on them. Dallas. Like 41... Like 30? 20, 20, or 31, or... I don't know. Dallas is good, though. Larry, who you got? I'm taking the Chiefs by a landslide. I think Jalen Hurts is garbage. Oh, and yeah. I've, I've already talked about it earlier. I think he, there should be a new starting QB in town. I think they should go to somebody who's got Super Bowl winning experience. So, you know, like I think the <laughs> Chiefs are going to take it. I think it might be like 38 to 0. Shut out. Mm-hmm. Bar who do you get? I'm taking the Chiefs. I think they're going to dominate. I need them to dominate for fantasy. <clears throat> and the Eagles are not good. The Cowboys put a whooping on them last week, and the Chiefs have lost two games in a row now. There's no way Andy Reid is not just going to 
like sit there and let them lose to the Eagles. Like that's just not happening. After his hospital. Oh yeah. Oh true. But whoever's coaching that, <laughs> I'm just saying, there's no way they lose two, like three in a row. Like that ain't. They're gonna go. Moore is gonna be the fucking that, that's head a, coach. That's even there more fuel to the yeah, fire. Yeah, more fuel to the fire if he's not there. Too. Yeah, they're gonna freaking want to play for Reed, Andy. Yeah, mm-hmm. the, yeah walrus. the walrus. The walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo. So for the walrus and a fast recovery, that's gonna be a star friend five dollar charity of your choice. Can our charity be Andy Reed? We could we Maybe. could do a GoFundM. Yeah, go fund Andy Reid for the crew. Andy Reid <laughs> for his hospitalization bill. You have to give us the money, not Andy Reid. We'll give it to him. Don't worry. Plus feed the walrus. <laughs> <laughs> so how many star frames is that now? We got four. Four. Only four star frames so far. Coming up next, we have the Carolina Panthers and the Dallas Cowboys. Barn, Larry. Let me lay this on you right now. If the Panthers beat the Dallas Cowboys, this will be the game I officially admit Sam Darnold is a mediocre quarterback. I said this to Colt earlier. Absolutely. I was like, dude, if Sam Darnold does it, like, there's no way Tree can say he's not. Because I was like, damn, this is going to be a good-ass game if he wins. Yep. It'll come down to the wire, I think. It'll be a close game. This is the game right here for Sam Darnold. That will either expose him or show why he is average or why he is good. And it even it could even come in defeat, right? So this game could go one of three ways. Carolina wins, Sam Darnold's an average quarterback. Carolina loses between a touchdown to three points, Sam Darnold's an average quarterback. Carolina gets fucking worked, my point stands. So you're only betting on if they get worked. Yeah, I'm not going to say, I will not say he's an average quarterback if they get worked. But if it's within 7 3. Well, you're going to have to after six wins. What about that's going to happen this I, well, I know, but I'm saying I'll admit it, I'll admit it early. <laughs> the Aggie. If this happens. I'm going to take Dallas to win this game. This is a huge game for Sam Darnold, and Sam Darnold has no idea what is on the line for our friend group. Cole Tree got. You know who I have. I have the Cowboys. Yeah. Zeke He's is not going to run as many yards as, uh, what's the other guy? Tony uh, Pollard. Pollard. I picked him up in one of my leagues. Good Money choice, because I think he's going to run for 101 yards, two rushing touchdowns. He's a start. And uh, <laughs> five, five receiving yards. And I think the Cowboys, are they going to lay it on the Panthers? Yes. Absolutely. I think the Panthers are going to have three points. I think the Cowboys are going to have 20 points. I think I think if they're going to lay it on Carolina, they're going to score well over 30. I think they'll score 36. And Carolina will score like 10. Cam, who do you got? Interesting takes, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to have to go with an oddball here and go with the Panthers. You know, I'm gonna. I believe in um, Sam Darnold. Uh, I yes, without MC, it's gonna be a struggle. But like I said, I he's a quarterback. He, I, I think he, I think he can do it. Will this be the game, Larry? I'm going with the Cowboys. Uh, I love Darnold, but I think Darnold gets it in a close one and loses. I think it's going to be close. I like his all his connections that he has with the receivers. I think Chubba Hubbard's going to fill in just fine. I kind of like him. The running back What's there. What's his name? Chubba, Chubba Hubbard. Hubbard. Someone tried every, to trade me. Every time, he, every time you say him. his name, I, th- I thought that that was a nickname for Nick Chubb. No. I, I drafted him in my fantasy, in my draft fantasy in Madden 2021 um, th- this year. I made him a dog. There you go. So we're excited for But Chubba. I think Dallas, obviously, Dak looks wonderful. And I think he's going to obviously put up like five TDs. It's just going to be like... Cause, yeah, because J.C. Horn just got hurt. And I don't like C.J. Henderson. And he's kind of hurt right now, too. C.J. Henderson has never been good. Yeah. That's that's the thing. So let's talk about that trade just for two seconds. But I like I, Dan. I, I think the Jags got the better end of that trade. Oh, absolutely. I think the... the... 
the fucking Panthers fucked themselves. I don't know why they got rid of the tight end. Like, honestly, if their defense is so great. Their defense is playing number one right now. They're trying to start their third-round rookie but, tight end, but Tommy he, I know, I know, but I get that. Hold on. You need so to help Sam like, Darnold. But here's my thing. Their defense is playing number one right now. So that means their other cornerbacks are playing. They should be playing just fine. Can they not elevate one other cornerback to fill those guys filling the other gap? But that was their first round pick. I know, I get that. And we suck at and drafting first actually, round. Talent. And JC Horn has was has been really good. Like he was one. He, he might have been a defensive player of the year if he could have stayed healthy. But now he's out for two to three months. So. But Dan Arnold on such a cheap deal for two years with a yeah. rookie tight end that hasn't even proved himself. He's had one catch. But I think he just got plopped right back into a better situation. I think he got plopped into the Jag situation. He's so gonna help Trevor. O'Shaughnessy is going to be on the IR, and I think he's going to hook up with Dan. I oh, really yeah. do. I think that's a great trade for them, and I think Dan Arnold's going to be a solid person for Trevor this year. But, uh, Bard, who you got this one? I'm struggling. Because I really... Pick him as the upside. I really wanted to do the Panthers... So I want to die on this hill so bad. Yeah, you know, so me, do I. Me, me and you have been going at it. I have, but I can't do have. it for the Cowboys. <laughs> you know what? Just because I am the only faithful one here, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I am willing to die on this hill. I will not go by the standards of record. I'm going by the standards of knowing which team is better than the other. I am picking... Oh, I can't, actually. <laughs> I've already chose them in week two oh, as my upset. Damn. Too bad. Too bad. You know what? <laughs> I'm dying on the hill no matter what. I'm choosing the Panthers. It's only worth one point. Yeah, but it's a huge one enough. point. And I will, I will shake your hand on the fact that I will admit that Sam Darnold is average. If he keeps his game close or he wins. And it's on audio file. Coming up next, we got an NFC West matchup. We got two of them this week, and this is huge for this race. Uh, Larry, you would know, obviously. Yeah. It's a division race, so there's three 3 0 teams, and the Niners, I mean, the Seahawks. No, I don't think the Niners are 3 0. No, the Niners just lost. Yeah. So they're 2 yeah. 1. Yeah. And, the and there's Seahawks. two 3 0s, and, yep. and the Seahawks are 1 and 2. Yep. yep. Okay. So, so, and the Seahawks and 49ers game, I'm taking the 49ers to beat the Seahawks. I think the Seahawks are finally coming to the time where they are no longer the team they used to be. I, I've said it before. We've all said it every single week. Of the... And they've cost me, <laughs> but... And the 49ers, man, I have never been much of a 49ers guy. Ever. But I think they take down Seattle. Cold Judy got. I like C- uh, Seattle in this one. I don't think uh, the Niners can rally off an L like that, you know, and just get pumped for the next game. I just don't see them for a long time being a contender. So I got the Seahawks. Cam, what do you got? I got the Seahawks as an upset on this one. You know, just, yeah. Yeah, I just think they're going to be pull it together against the 49ers. That's a team that they play two times a year. Russell Wilson knows how to play them, knows how to beat them. Uh, yeah, he doesn't got a lot of weapons. Yeah, Tyler Lockett. And then, shit. DK. And Tyler DK. Lockett never does good after the first few weeks of DK. Fan, in a fantasy. And then DK is really not, he's like, he's iffy here and there, but I mean, like. I hate people that say DK is better than Tyler Lockett because he's, not. he's I not. I hate people that say DK is better than Deontay Johnson because he's not. DK is just, they only say. What Deontay, kind of weird form are you on where that's Deontay an Johnson argument? has yeah. more fucking catches and yards than DK. And I, they're both drafted in 2019. Oh. Even. Oh, so somebody somebody came into like a Steelers thread and said... No, DK. it was just... Fucking... It's facts. I know, but where did this argument originate? 
Where'd you see the DK versus DK? Oh, I just saw it somewhere. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like that was there. such a. Those are, I, I, now I'm, that now that I know I'm just that because nobody says anything about Deontay Johnson. No, yeah, no, yeah. But now that now that everyone you're talks me about that DK, 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 it's like, what about, about DJ? James Washington? What about DJ? Deontay Johnson's better than uh, Metcalf. Never give James Washington any shout. Because he sucks. <laughs> So, Cam, you're taking the Seahawks yeah, uh, in this one? I'm taking the Seahawks as an upset. Larry, who do you got? I'm taking Seattle. I think the offense is good enough to carry them through the dub. I think their defense is dog shit. But I think they're going to sneak one off against the Niners because they're going to split like they normally always do. So, that's just the way it goes. I think Seattle beats them. Barn, who do you got? I'm taking the Seahawks as an upset also. I think the Seahawks aren't as like injury prone as the 49ers are and I don't like the people the Niners have played this season so far the Lions they're good lost to them the Green Bay Packers are good they lost to them and then the uh oh, who did they play last week or not the week before that the Eagles crap and they barely won barely won no, I think the Seahawks are better in this, so I'm taking Seahawks. All right. Coming up next, we got another NFC West battle. And, you know, we're throwing out record-breaking predictions in this week four matchup. I don't know if this will be a record-breaking prediction per se, but I think there will be at least 80 combined points between these two teams. I think the Cardinals find a way to score a lot of points. I think the Rams find a way to score a lot of points. But I think the Rams find a way to win this game. Matthew Stafford and Kyler Murray combine for 750 passing yards in the Rams' victory. Cole Trudy up. I like L.A. L.A. beats the Cardinals. How many? How many? Years in a row, Bryce. It's been four now. It's been four. And this will be and five. It'll, it'll it will be, and it will be the fifth. I think Matthew Stafford goes on to have a MVP season. One or two in the MVP rankings. And I got the Rams. Not even by a lot. Just like Treep said. I like I them. Like, um, 41 to 39. I think they're going to... I think... I'm going to have to agree with the Colton. I'm going to take the Rams, and I think it's going to be like a two-possession game. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be like... Yeah, like 45 to like a 35 something. So it's going to be like close. It's, it's going to be... It's definitely going to be the game of the week. And it's going to be a contender for game of the week. Oh, it's year. definitely going to be one of the games of the week. That's for sure. Pass for sure. That's going to be a good game. Because Matt Stafford, he is a really good quarterback right now. He is playing really good right now with, with the Rams. And then Game Akers, you know. I'm, I'm liking everything about that. I'm liking everything with the Rams. Have. And they are a well-coached team. All right. Larry, who you got? They got the Rams as a lock. I think they clap us. I don't even think. I think you guys have too much stock in Arizona. I think we're going to get our ass eight. I think the Rams will run all over us. I think Daryl Henderson or Sony Michelle will have 100 yards and wow. at least a touchdown. Not Sony. And I think, I think Sony could do it to us too, really. No. And I and I and I think I, hope not. I think our defense is super bad. I think we got exposed by the Jags. I think Stafford's just going to eat us alive. I think it'll be like five touchdowns. And Cooper Cup, he's going to keep going the fuck off because we won't know how to stop him. So. The Rams are probably going to beat us like 45 to 17. Oh, I think say zip for a sec. Well, they, they probably would have called the dogs off at 30. Barney, do you got? I got the Rams. I'm kind of on the boat with Bryce. I think the Rams are going to win like 40 to like 40 to 20, like basically. Like it's going to be double whatever the Cardinals get. I think the Ram, like the Rams, have beat the Cardinals every year for the past four years, and I think Matthew Stafford is way better than Jared Goff. It's gonna and make it seen, five. 
And we've seen what Matthew Stafford could do against the Bucks last week. And I think if the Bucks came into Arizona, they would also stomp Arizona. So I, I'm taking the Rams. Alrighty, and I was not in the room. Was that a star, star frame? frame? $5 charity of your choice. Thanks for taking the lead on that, boys. Coming up next, we have a Super Bowl rematch. We got the Green Bay Packers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is one of the earlier Super Bowls of my childhood memory. Absolutely. And the same two quarterbacks are playing in it, too. This is, what, 11 Maybe. years? 11 years down the... Is he met? <coughs> big, <coughs> big Ben's questionable. <coughs> oh, he'll play. Issue, but he'll he'll play. probably play and he'll throw 500 times. <laughs> I hate that they Pretty do that to him. I hate they do that to him. I hate that they give Najee Harris the ball too much. I mean, dude, the, you know what? You know we what did that, the same thing to Le'Veon. You know what Najee Harris reminds me of? He reminds me of Leonard Fournette. Like, our... Our, like, his fresh, freshman year, his rookie season, when we would keep giving him the ball, mm-hmm. but he would average, like, three yards a carry, mm-hmm. and then every now and again, he'd break out for a really big run. That's, like, how, like, what Najee Harris reminds mm-hmm. me of. But uh, who you got in this one, Colch? Um, I like, as much as I hate to say it, I like the Packers in this one. We're going into in the Green Bay... Najee's going to get 50 touches again, and he'll maybe have 35 yards. We can't we can't keep doing this to running backs. We can't keep doing this to anybody. Nobody can have that many touches in a game and be reliable forever. Can't be one-dimensional. Le'Veon, he's washed, and he's not even 30. Yeah. He's 28. <laughs> not that much older than us. So, I got the Packers... Big Ben's going to somewhat keep us in that game for no reason. <clears throat> kind of. Yeah. We'll lose by 10. It'll be like 30 to 10. It depends on if Aaron Rodgers feels like playing that day, really. And he's going to feel like playing. <laughs> I, I just have a feeling. He always plays pretty well. I that mean, week one was the bad week. Week one and now it's week like, one. Now he's over it. Whatever. Cam, who you got? You know, I'm gonna have to go with the Packers on this one. Uh, you know, Big Ben. Yeah, like like Colton says, you, you can't have that old man be thrown that many times unless you're Tom Brady, and you can't be having a young running back be running at 50 times, and then you just get eat up so many times. It's just it's it, you're just gonna destroy your team so quick. So I'm gonna have to go with the Packers on this one. Larry, who do you got? I'm taking the Packers. I don't think it'll be that close. I, I think Green Bay's running hot finally. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like a 21. I think Rodgers is Rodgers is probably gonna have like four touchdowns, and I think Aaron Jones will have a touchdown. I think I just I love Big Ben, but Big Ben's pecs gonna fuck him up all season, and they're gonna try to run him every single fucking game. And I already know Absolutely. it. Like this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna keep him out of practice for the first few days. And then run them like for the whole weekend. Five and games, then, yep, he'll be out yep. for no reason. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Barn, who do you got? I got the Packers. <clears throat> the Steelers are not looking good. The Bengals just beat them. And well, the it does. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, I just, the Packers are just on fire right now. I mean, Aaron Rodgers has had, what, 37 second. Victory. Yeah, yeah. drove down in thirty like, seconds. Too easy. Like, damn. Yeah. He didn't even need thirty. Yeah, he yeah, threw so it right like, to Devonte. I'm taking easy. the Packers. I'm also gonna take the Packers to round off another Star Frame five dollars charity of your choice, your choice <laughs> of something in Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah, because they need it. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Donate it to Big Ben's pack. <laughs> yeah. Or Najee Harris. I'm sure the city of whatever. Rehab, rehab after the yeah. game. Pittsburgh already probably I just hope Big Ben can survive until he plays us. Probably won't. Because, dude, <laughs> that, 
Miles Garrett to be the one to put him on the shelf. I want Miles Garrett to be the one to put him on the shelf, oh, shelf. Yeah, yeah. so bad. Not really a, a like lukewarm take, like big bad Miles Garrett. Yeah, yeah. He's done after this year. Yeah, I there's there's absolutely no way lukewarm might even be a cold take. Might even be he's, a wage take. He's yeah. done to Pittsburgh at least. No, he's done. He might go back up somewhere else. He will That's never true. go back up anywhere. No, yeah, he's done. If he's done in or Pittsburgh, he won't coach. go. Yeah, it's yeah, true. He's, he's done. Yeah. Yeah, he it's like, high school. Yeah. All the other QBs like in his class, probably, possibly anybody in his draft class is done. Phil I think Rivers, he is done. He's Eli. the last one. Dude, that'd be cool if you guys just turned I think Larry was with him, too. Coach. Yeah, as far as mm-hmm. quarterbacks, so I think he's done because it was him. Eli, Eli and Phillips, Phillips and Romo, I think, was in that one too. But he was undrafted. So it doesn't it doesn't count. Yeah, but he was in the same. I class. still can't believe Romo is was an undrafted quarterback and did Romo like did. is uh, the greatest of all time. We love Tony Romo. But yeah, so that's a star frame. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Against my Steelers, and I think that might be the one of the first times I've ever picked against Pittsburgh. Fair. Right, usually it, it you might are, be. You uh, are a Pittsburgh. We would have to go always. look at film, yeah. obviously, but that might be the first time I ever picked against Pittsburgh. All right, coming up next, we have the Baltimore Ravens coming up against the Denver Broncos. And you know what? Baltimore to me doesn't. Dude, they did it. They did it against Kansas City. They didn't do much against Detroit. I think Denver is a lot better than people are giving them credit for. I think Denver is going to win this one. They just pitched a shutout. I think they are going to win this one, and I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. 10-17, to Denver wins. Cole Trudia. I like the Ravens in this one as much as I hate to say it. Um... Teddy Two Gloves? Teddy Two Gloves is going to throw... I Teddy Bongwater. I hate saying he's going to throw picks. He's going to throw zero picks. Yeah. And it'll be two fumbles from... Uh, is it Melton Ingram? Gordon. Yeah. Gordon, excuse me. Two fumbles by him. The Ravens are going to win. And a prediction that we can never fact check. Um, I think... Or technically we can. I think Justin Tucker, Tucker's record-breaking field goal last week is never going to be broke. No. I think it will. I I guess technically we can... I told you. Yeah, Barnish told me. Technically, we can fact-check that until we're dead. But I do not think... It'll ever be higher than... I think 66 might be tied twice. Matt Prater's going to hit 67. This year? No. This season? No. Yes, we always hit long field goals at halftime, and we're going to do it again. We're going to send it out there. You don't put a $10 bill on that? Do we not just kick a 68-yarder last week? Anything's caution to the win. Yeah, at 109 yards. The you farthest think back his in head the coach end zone. is going to learn from that mistake? Yeah, no. He's going to do it again. <laughs> Don't put $10 on it? I guarantee you, Prater or $5. ties it. That was a flip. This season, he's <laughs> yes. going to tie it. At least ties it. I'm not going to lie. Though. $5 dollar bet. Okay. Impressive. Yeah. Because uh, I don't think anyone will ever beat that. I like, if anybody ever beats that, it's going to be one extra yard. We already with said. a little bit of wind. We've sent out Matt Prater in Arizona Stadium for a 62-yarder, and he nailed it. And then this week, we sent him out for a 68-yarder at halftime. Wait, did he make it? No, no that was Jamal Oh, Agnew. no, he didn't. From a hun- yeah, guess exactly. what? The kick return was 109 yards. So exactly, guess what? he didn't how, make it. How far it. back in the end zone <laughs> is that? As far back as you can get. Wait, cold. Was, did he make it? Oh, it was accurate, at least. It wasn't shanked Damn. like the rest of the kickers. In the league, dude, I seen I seen this video. <laughs> Not okay? Justin Tucker. Man. I seen this video, dude. <laughs> yeah, lucky. Back in like 2007, Lane Kiffin sent out a fucking sea bass, Sebastian Janikowski, Facts. for a fucking 75 yeah. yard field goal before halftime. How short was he? Significantly. Oh, dude, I was about to say I wouldn't. Bo- I wouldn't. <laughs> Like, not believe it, Sabo got pretty close. Dude, he was a goat. I love to see bass. <laughs> old sea bass on the Raiders? Yes. Too good. Cam, who do you got? You know, if this one, I'm going to have to go with the Ravens on this one. 
You guys are still talking about the Ravens, the Broncos. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Room. Ravens yeah. are my upset yeah. because I can choose that. Um, so, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go with the Ravens. You know, with the Broncos, you have to look at the teams that they've played. Yeah, I know. They're 3 and 0 with the teams that they've played. Confidence. And the Ravens, I'm just not. I'm not too. So, uh, I'm not sold on the Broncos yet just because of the teams they have played. They have been dog water, so I'm going with the Ravens. Larry, who you got? I'm taking the Ravens because Lamar's been making stupid, miraculous deep throws to his stu- to Sammy Watkins and Marquise Brown for like the past three weeks, and I, I just think the the Broncos, yeah, they they've won three games. Their defense is legit. Teddy Two Gloves, Teddy Bongwater, he's the best game manager you can ask for. The best. But I think so. He's one of the top. I like him. But I think the Ravens just get it done. Lamar's too flashy. He's already got 251 rushing yards. And so, you know what that means. He'll be at 1,000 before we know it. I think uh, I think Denver's defense is going to hold Lamar. Barn, can you back me up, or are you going to go with the popularity? No, I am definitely taking the Broncos. Uh-huh. Oh. And the reason why. Definitely. Because yeah. I think the Ravens. I've been getting lucky the past couple weeks. Yeah, that Guaranteed. Is fair. That is fair. Yeah, that on kicker, some, that kick should have never things. been kicked. Facts. Against, delay game. against the Lions, which are a fair team, and I think the Broncos should be considered a fair team right now. Their defense is playing very legit. Yep, just a fair team. And it's just, I just, I don't. I, I think their defense doesn't allow Lamar to get those lucky plays like the other defenses have. And well, it just won't Lamar it won't let him get these stupid things. And, and I, I think the wrong must take it. And I think we're overrating the Ravens. Because I mean, if you look at the grand scheme of things, I don't think the Ravens should be considered an AFC favorite. Well they're not. That's what I'm I don't saying. Think they that's, ever have been. That's why I recently. think that's Chief why I think you know, to be number one. I think you got to throw the Chargers in there too. Are, yeah, they are. Chargers, Chargers now. Now they are. Mm-hmm. You got to throw absolutely. Buffalo. And every time I think you put Buffalo I, over Baltimore too. And I think oh, every yeah, time absolutely. I think every I time I the Titans. And get honestly, there, you could put Tennessee over yeah, Baltimore too. Every time the Titans get in the playoffs, they win one game, guaranteed. That's why I think you like you guys keep saying names. I keep liking, man. Keep going. Yeah, like, and that's going why. Down. That's why I think. And I think the Broncos can also be another team you can add on to that list. And that's why I think the Ravens, I think, might miss the playoffs this it's year. It's been a long time since Just they've seen the Sheriff, though. I'm gonna. That's my bold prediction this year. I think the Baltimore Ravens will miss the playoffs this year. Because of the Broncos? I think there's going to be three playoff teams in the AFC West. That's fair. The Chargers, Broncos, and Chiefs. Or what about Raiders? the Raiders? And Raiders, Chargers, Broncos, Broncos, and Chiefs. The Raiders are going to lose it. They're three now, right now. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think the Broncos. I like it. I, like it. I, I think like, the Broncos like are better than the Raiders. That's fair. In my opinion. We'll take. That's what I'm taking. That's my bold take. I like it. Bold take of the week. I really, <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. You're going and I think that's there. a safe bold take. There. All right, we're coming on to everybody's favorite time of the week here. Colts kind of disappointed the people last week. Wasn't his favorite. I think kind of disappointed him a little bit. We have, we keep getting more viewers each and every week. So he's got to pipe up his pipes even better every single week. I know he came in lubricated with at least four beers during the podcast. I don't know how many margaritas he sipped at the Mexican restaurant beforehand. Oh, no. Corona. Oh, so he had a couple of Ronas. Just one. Oh, just one Rona. So he should be. Line. So he should be well lubricated, well salted, and ready to go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I produce. I present to you, Colt. Sunday night. And you know what? That was heat. Okay. That was well, too bad. I from like last that. week, that was a read. That was a. You definitely went up. Oh yeah, obviously from last. Well, week. Yeah. last week was a bust. Yeah. Busted you can You came in here prepared for this. Uh. There was a guest yeah. star. He, yeah. had to, he had to get a little water. I was, yeah. I was a little, yeah, I was a little flustered because uh, Cam was here. So we got Tampa Bay and New England. And before the season started, this was the hottest ticket in town. The cheapest ticket to go to this game was one thousand dollars. So. There is going to be a lot of rich motherfuckers at this game. <laughs> is this the first time Brady's played the Pats? 
There's Absolutely. gonna be. There's it's the only team is, he has, has not been. been. That's what I was wondering. There's gonna be a lot of celebrities in the stands, and you know what? This is gonna remain the only team Tom Brady hasn't beaten. Bill Belichick is gonna coach Tom Brady into a hole, and you're gonna see so many motherfuckers on the internet talking about how Tom Brady isn't the greatest of all time. It was always Bill Belichick, and that's going to be all the motivation that you need for Tom Brady to win another Super Bowl. But this is going to be Bill Belichick's bragging rights, right? It's in New, Eng- it's in New England. Yeah. It's in New England. Bill Belichick's going to get it done, and the Patriots are going to be Tampa Bay. And you know what? Just to make it a little more interesting, it's not even going to be close. Bill Belichick is going to coach Tom Brady under the table, the Patriots beat Tampa Bay in my upset of the week. Cold Judy got. I'm speechless after that. Because I think the exact opposite's gonna happen. I think Brady's just gonna give it to him. The Pats, he's he's just gonna he's just gonna keep bang, you know, just I don't know how to explain it really. My big thing is I think during it's gonna be bad. My big thing during these revenge games, you see all these quarterbacks have You've never seen a revenge game like this. No. You've no. never had... This is the number one. The greatest, the greatest quarterback coach. of all time going up against the greatest coach of all time. Mm-hmm. If you don't think Bill Belichick hasn't lost sleep over this game fucking all week, oh. all season... Yeah, he's been waiting. He doesn't care time. if Mac Jones doesn't get him a single fucking win for the rest of the season. He wants to win this game. And the Patriots are gonna win this game. In my opinion, Cam, who do you got? You know this this game is honestly really tough. Oh, I know it is oh, for you. Oh, tough, tough choice for me. It really is because you know our our defense isn't looking bad. I got all your defense. Our offense though is what I worry about. Our receivers cannot get separation for worth a damn. But what I am grateful for is. The Bucks signing Sherman and them having only two fucking valuable, worth a damn corners. Because last week when they lost to the Rams, they had to pull up their practice squad corner who only played literally one snap in a regular season game and played 52 snaps. And that did not, that's a lot of defensive snaps. That does not help your defense at all. So the fact that they had to pick up Richard Sherman a week before us. That just shows that they are a little worried about the Patriots. It shows they are a little worried about our receivers. But at the same time, our receivers can't get open, can't get any separation. And their offense is very deadly once they get going. They are a very deadly team. But I'm going to have to go with my dogs, the Patriots. Bill Belichick is just going to lock Brady out. Yes, Brady is going to pick apart our defense bits by pieces. But Bill Belichick is going to find a way to stay into the game. That's what he does. He finds ways. He puts game plans into place where he puts his team, puts the players to do their job to get in, to get to win the game, pretty much. He's, so I'm going with the Patriots on this one. It's very tough for me to choose because I want to choose the Bucks, but I'm going with the Patriots. I think he does his best to put New England in winnable situations. Larry, who do you got? I'm taking the Bucks. I think the Bucks are. I think Tom Brady's obviously the greatest of all fucking. He's going to tear ever. apart our defense. And, he's going to find ways. Yeah. He's going to tear us apart. In some and ways. and I, th- I think that. that he already knows all these faces and places, and he knows. I he mean, knows, he knows our, everything. He knows, yeah, he I mean, knows he knows, knows what he Bill knows Belichick what wants do. to do. He knows what their defense is running. He knows everything, and I think <laughs> this is if there's any place for him to be playing, why not play in your goddamn home stadium? Let's not say that it's not. He was there for 20 years. That's that his is, home stadium. It don't his, matter. That is his stadium. That's his poppy stadium, as much as it is Bill's. Mm-hmm. And I think Tom Brady's going to go in there and just light him the fuck up. I think he's going to have it beat. I think it might be like 42 to 13, just because Mac Jones has not shown me enough. And he only he's only been able to produce field goals in most of his drives. Yeah. And then you can't have that against that's, TB12. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Our offense is not looking successful so, at all. So, I just think t- Tom Brady's going to hook it up. He's going to get it to AB, to Chris Godwin, to Mike Evans, and, and Gronk. to Gronk. I, gu- gu- I guarantee you Gronk is getting a touchdown. Exactly. 
Gronk is for sure getting a touchdown. And it is not going to be I would, close. I wouldn't be surprised if Gronk doesn't have at least 75 yards this game. But I will say something. Obviously, Bill is the greatest coach of all time, too. And I think Bill will obviously, if he's, if anybody's going to do it, Bill will have the best game plan for Brady because Bill knows what he's done for the past 20 years, too. So this is just, it could be a barn burner, but I don't know. I think Brady's got the upper hand. Barn got. I'm taking the Bucks. I don't think the Patriots roster even compares to the Bucks. I you can say the coaching matters as much as it wants. I don't believe in that when your roster doesn't compare to the team you're competing against. I don't care how good your coaching is. I I'm taking the Bucks by a lot. Like Tom Brady's gonna come in there and he's just going to smack them. Like, Tom Brady is waiting for the Super Bowl. This is just one step for him to just shit on his old team and just move on to the next step to get to the Super Bowl. Coming up next, and one thing I want to say before we get into this. Other than last week's Monday night game, I will say the NFL has put together significantly better primetime games than they have in the past. That's true. These last Sunday, Monday nights, the season have entertained, and I think this week they're going to continue. I'll be even the games that we considered duds. Yeah, ended up being good. Yep. So it's like they've done really extremely well. The schedule makers this year, they're doing a good job, I think. And I even think the Jags Bengals this week on Thursday night could be all right. Yeah. I think that's going to be a pretty good game. Yeah, I think it could be. I'm pretty confident that's going to be a good game. Could be average at best. We got the Raiders and the Chargers, two teams that I believe are going to make the playoffs this year. I'm going to take the Chargers in overtime. 35 to 38 on a Dan Carls, or on a, uh, not Dan Carlson, on a, uh, who the fuck is the Chargers kicker? Maybe McLaughlin. No, no. that's my kicker. Oh. Who the fuck is their kicker? No idea, Ben. Whoever the Chargers kicker is yeah. will kick a game-winning field goal. After Don't trap a <laughs> they, they, yeah, they drive, they drive down the field. It'll be a short kick, so it won't be. I think it's. Is it, is it that? It starts with a B, doesn't it? Ball, ball D, B B A L G D E Y. I think it may be. But oh, Badgley? Badgley? Michael Badgley? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that might be it. Yeah. Okay, but cold drop report. We're gonna need you to Google who the Chargers kicker is. Okay. Thank you. Give me a minute. But I'm going to take the Chargers to win this one. I think it will be close. I think Derek Carr, man, we, and you know, I think Colts kind of put me in check for this last week. You know, we've never really not liked Derek Carr, but I don't think we've, you know, given him his props. This is another guy that's on pace for an MVP season. Especially when you have a freaking family member who's already tarnished your family's name. What am I looking up? Chargers kicker. Okay, that's why. Because, I, I mean, David Carr came in, number one overall pick, and looked dog shit. Yeah. So your name's already tarnished. You have to make up from that. Then you're paired with Gruden, who's... Hey, he's doing a good job. Yeah. Great job. But Gruden's just crazy, man. He does crazy things that everybody th- looks at as, like, drastic moves, mm-hmm. and they just rebound. But I'm going to take the Chargers. Cam, who do you got? You know, this game was really hard for me to choose. I really like the, the way the Chargers are playing, but I also like the, the way the Raiders are playing. You know, Henry Ruggs is looking pretty good this year. I was really I was kind of surprised about that. He's looking pretty good. And then Josh Jacobs is looking pretty good this year, but he's always looking like a dog. Uh, but at the same time, Justin Herbert, he is someone to mess with. He is good. He kept up with Patrick Mahomes, and that is hard to do. And I'm really liking the Chargers. Did the game-winning drive in yeah. Chiefs Stadium. Coach, so, we got an update on the Chargers kicker? Uh, Yeah. So this year, on August 31st, 2021, is Tristan Vincanio. Oh, Vincanio. We would have never known that. I would have never yeah. guessed that. Yeah. But I'm going to have to go with the Raiders on this one. Ooh. Derek Carr, Henry Ruggs, Colch. What do you got? <laughs> I like the Chargers in this one. I think, oh man, I love I love the Raiders this year. I do too. Don't get me wrong. I love Renfro. I love Mr. Waller. 
Um, it's about time all the all the undefeated teams lose that that prestigious mark in history as undefeated. So I I'm gonna take take the Chargers. Larry, I'm taking the Raiders. Uh, I think the Chargers can't do back to back division games and win them both. I think it's just that that sort of thing in the AFC West. I don't know. I think the Chargers are a good team, but I think Derek Vehicle's hitting on another level. He's hooking up to every receiver that's on the team. Darren Waller, too. Doesn't really matter who's the running back. Peyton Barber had 111 yards and a touchdown, so clearly it's expendable. Whoever they put back there, it doesn't really matter. So I think the Raiders roll on to 4-0, which is a wild thing to say, and they hold first place in the division. Barn? I'm also taking the Raiders. I think the Raiders are going to take this because the Chargers are going to come off a little too cocky off that Chiefs dub. And Derek Carr is a veteran compared to (laughs) Justin Herbert, obviously. And I think he knows how to command this game a little bit better than Herbert. And he's been playing lights out. So it's just like, I I have to take the Raiders over the Chargers. And I absolutely hate the Chargers on top of that. So it even feels better if the Raiders win this. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our NFL week number four picks, locks, and upsets. Colch, any final words for the people? I just hope all of you have a good rest of your day. Cam, special appearance. Glad to have you back in here. Any last words for the people? Have a wonderful time. Larry? I hope one of you out there gets groceries for life (laughs) for us. (laughs) <laughs> Big barn house. If you heard this clicking any time during this, it's because we have no impulse control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Facts. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. And as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.